Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I found my glasses. This is a 12 by 16 inch canvas. And I'm going to cover it after I take my cell phone out of my pocket with some paint. I think I'm going to put a fairly heavy layer down the center because that seems to be the best way that's working for me recently to use my OXO omelet turning spatula which is, in my opinion, the best paint spreading tool around. And hopefully the fastest. We shall see. So I want to do some something really easy after I spread my paint. I hope it's going to be really easy. It might be it might be more difficult than I think, but we'll see what happens. I want to use shovels. And I want to add some color to them. And I'm going to try not to worry myself too much about the sides of my canvas, knowing that I can pour a little dish of black and probably dip my finger into it and run it down the sides. Usually I would love to have an already primed black canvas, but since I don't and I want one, this is my only solution. Just run that finger right down the edge. So now I have at least one side more or less covered, and we can start from there. Now I was going to go this way, but I think I need to go this way, vertically. And maybe I should rethink the shovel and just grab a scoop. But I'm going to have to go from your side, so I'm going to be working upside down, which should be fine. That might work really fine, actually. Let's get that away throw that in the bucket. Let's grab a container. Where'd it go? It was right here a second ago. <laughs> Must be right behind me. No. There it is, right there. It's right in front of me. Of course it is. So let's grab a couple of homemade scoops. That had a lipstick and a moisturizer in it, and then I just cut it off. I taped up the back to make it firm. And I'm going to use that, I think. And I'm going to use my iPod box, but you can use any kind of refuse you want. And I am going to rest that in my iPod box and start with whatever will come out. And I put my wipe down right there. And I'm just putting in all the colors that I can think of that are handy right here. And then I've got something in my paint and I can see it. Come here, little thing that does not belong. I've got tweezers on my... Oh, it's a piece of sand, too. I can, it was going crunch, crunch on my tweezer tips. These are on the Amazon link underneath the link tree. This is an idea I've been thinking about for, for a couple few days. I have to go a little slowly at the end because I don't have as much paint. I'm trying to cheat because I didn't leave myself enough. I'm just going to put a little more of everything back in there maybe something that wasn't in there before. And I want some blue that I don't have and it's right here. And I need to shake that up.
That's an experiment. <laughs> and this is me letting paint fall down over the edge of the canvas to cover it. Right there. And right there. I'm not going to worry about my end, or am I? <laughs> if I was, I would need an edge catcher. And the bottle's out of the way, because I like to have a little elbow room when I'm doing this. And I think I'm just going to give myself permission to let the rest of that paint that's falling out of there become included. It occurs to me that I could definitely use whatever I want in here right now. And make sure that I've got it somewhat similar. I've got plastic stuck to the bottom of my canvas. I want an edge catcher. And I need to peel it up from the other edge catchers. Where did that come from? Where do these things keep coming from? All right, so I'm going to hold that very close to the end of the canvas. I'm going to let that color fall right down over onto the edge catcher as best I can. I'm going to let it become part of the canvas base. And then I'm going to hope that's not really working the way I expected it to. So basically, I'm going to make the best of it, go back and grab my colors, get rid of that, and I'm going to leave that right in that iPod box. Until it starts to fill, whoops, don't want to drop anything. I'm going to level it out. I guess easy is not the word. So, now, Now we're just experimenting. This could turn out to be chain. Oh, I need more paint there. It can't all fall over. And there's more plastic. Wow. Okay. At least I have a fairly even amount. So what do I want to use? with that. Maybe I'm going to use my... Maybe I'm going to do whatever comes to mind. We'll just have some fun until I give up. <laughs> Don't have much more. I need a little more too. I think I could probably do all kinds of strange stuff now, but I'm just going to follow my instincts and see what happens. Now I can leave that paint heavy like that because I use GAC 800. And even though they're kind of fugly looking right now, I think I'm just going to use my, my skewer. even them out a little bit, which is what I had in mind all along. I just forgot. <laughs> I'm 
it's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Just run it up, run it back. I used to make flowers like this pretty regularly. I kind of think I can put some in between too. Maybe that'll just be a bud. Doesn't matter if I've got colors from the others. I think I'm just going to use the paint. Just push it up and back in a zigzag motion. Because it's fun. Oh, I wonder that was thick. It had a it had a boo-boo in it. Playing, just pulling some paint out, stealing some paint, dotting some things. I don't hate that. I could still put chain in it. I like the bright colors. I like taking the paint that's there and taking advantage of it. I'm liking it. I wasn't sure what I was doing for a minute, but I'm much happier right now. I'm going to steal some more paint, run it right up that side. Maybe all the way to the top. Still got to fix the rest of my flowers, but that's okay. I can pull down as well as up. It's definitely some kind of garden. I'm not sure it, it would be a weedy garden, but it could be. I just love the different colors, stripes across the bottom, though. Just picking it up and putting it down. here, there, and everywhere, and I've got enough paint. To dot whatever I need right in my, I say that, I think I have enough paint. Yeah, it's been a while since I did one of these. I'm going to have to fix my edges, but that's okay. I think I'm good. I've got enough colors so that I can fix my bottom. And then I'll just add black to the edges. So this is Priscilla Matzel in Spring Hill, Florida, saying thank you for all the contributions that have helped keep me painting. If you're looking for the PayPal or Patreon links to continue to do so and keep me on YouTube, I love you and appreciate you for doing that. And they are on my channel header and also on the link tree link below the video. So thank you for all the wonderful comments you leave me. And if you're not somebody who can contribute to the studio, just know you're contributing by being here and watching, and I love you just the same. And I appreciate that very much also.
So I appreciate you sharing my videos. That's an assistance. If you like my videos by giving me a thumbs up, I really appreciate that too. I'm going to torch, I think, I see something that's bugging me. That's the only thing that's drawing my eye. Standing out. I am going to torch. I'm going to show you guys what's going on. That was really cute. and kind of, It was simple for me. I'm, I'm sorry if it's not necessarily simple, but I just sort of took my time and figured out what I was doing. and. I'm still doing it. Hopefully not ruining anything. Hopefully. All right, I love you guys. And there's uh, 86,600 and change of you. Subscribe to Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation. Excuse me, that's a Facebook group. Expressionist Art Studio Priscilla Batzel. Might even be Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Priscilla Batzel. But I do have another YouTube channel and it is called Phoenix Rising Priscilla Batzel Art and there are no commercials there right now. So visit it while you can. I put some really great stuff over there hoping the channel will take off and it really did not. But you never know. There's 444 subscribers there right now. Today anyway. I got two minutes to tell you whatever I forgot to tell you already, and I can probably do that and cover my sides at the same time if I'm lucky. I'll just move that to the edge of the canvas, put some paint down, and let it flow. Tell you guys thank you for sharing my videos. I think I mentioned the Teespring. I might not have mentioned. Underneath the link tree are Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, and Teespring which is all over print leggings and, and t-shirts and other clothing that's not all over print but still has my artwork on it and it's still very helpful if you shop there. The same as if you notice the Amazon link. I put all kinds of stuff I love on there and, uh, and more. And if you shop there it's at no added cost to you and it definitely helps me out. I could float a few little orbs up in this, this night sky area but I guess this is just a perfect little night garden for me and I'm not too worried about doing too much else to it. It still took me 20 minutes to do, and I wasn't sure what I was doing until halfway through. So, I love you guys. I will see you anon. I should probably check my... Check my crib sheet and tell you guys I appreciate your thumbs up and your wonderful comments you leave me to keep my morale boosted. Look under the link tree for my website also, and you can find a Google business page. And I love it if you want to give me a studio review. Not that you've been to the studio, but nobody's to the studio right now, so whatever you want to say is, is helpful, and I appreciate it. There's Pixels.com and Fine Art America, and you can also find the Shop No button. We'll take you to both those places from Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Totes, and more on Facebook. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors will take you to the albums that have the so far so good edited artworks from YouTube, which are not everything. And if you have a comment, please leave it to me. for me. I'll get back to you or question. And if you're interested in making a purchase, please ask me via the email address that's on the top of the link tree, and I will get back to you for that. And I will be giving classes in Spring Hill, Florida at the studio again, just as soon as we are allowed to stop being socially distant. I love you guys. I will see you anon. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, see you soon. I'll see you anon. Check for the community board and check Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group on Facebook for videos for tomorrow's, uh, for tomorrow's videos. Bye now. I know, I tongue trip all the time. See ya.